Hey guys, it is Friday, August 23. Uh, it, Bitcoin's at 61,400, and this episode is about the Fed pivot. Um, so, uh, Jay Powell is in Jackson Hole, and he just gave a little speech, and there's no wondering uh, if we're going to cut rates. Uh, we're cutting rates in September. We're going to be on a rate cut uh, process from here on out. And I made a little tweet just kind of summarizing actually where we are and how Jerome Powell kind of sees his legacy. And basically, my TLDR is as follows. So first of all, he's saying COVID came along. We did a one-time rescue of the system. Uh, obviously, he completely ignores the uh, the rescue of uh, Bernanke in 2009. Uh, so it's like these one-time things happen basically every decade. Uh, but, you know, at, so far. Uh, but, yeah, and, and they, really we happened, we had this uh, pivot in 2000. So pretty much every decade we're having these, these, these massive uh, one-time rescues. Um, but, yeah, so we had the one-time rescue in March of 2020, uh, we completely thought that everything was just a temporary transient uh, supply chain, transitory supply chain uh, inflation. We thought it was going to get under control immediately. It wasn't. Uh, uh, by October 2021, 20, ha-ha, we were completely wrong. Uh, we were on the ship, and we, we didn't realize that we were completely uh, going into the rocks. But uh, kudos on us. We realized that we were wrong, and... Um, and so we raised rates, and we held them there for two years. But it looks like now the labor markets have cooled, and uh, you know it, it now looks like we're in a great place to declare victory on employ on inflation, and now focus on unemployment. Now, is a, is this significant? Uh, I think, as they say in Fargo, you betcha. I think this is completely significant. Uh, the Fed does not do these pivots very often. Um, the last pivot was, if you remember, in October of 2021, and it was meaningful, right? So I think this pivot's going to be meaningful. Once you make these statements, you can't go back on this statement. Uh, we're going to have pressure to reduce rates for the next two years or three years. Uh, I think interest rates are going to go much, much lower. Um, I think this inflation battle is the thing of the past. I'm not saying that inflation is a thing of the past, but I think that their public fighting of inflation is a thing of the past. And I think this is going to have all kinds of consequences. And the first consequence, I think, is once we get interest rates in the, with a three handle, I think people are going to start panicking that, they don't, that their uh, holding out in Treasury bills is no longer the preferred strategy uh, because... Inflation is going to still continue, and they're going to realize that after taxes, after interest, they're losing. They're losing their. The iceberg is melting, and uh, we're going to see a movement back to risk assets, which means stocks go up, and Bit gold goes up, and Bitcoin goes up the most. So I think that's the way I see the world. Um, and, uh, again, if you follow me on YouTube, thanks a lot. I'm really happy to get over 17,000 uh, followers on YouTube. If you follow me on Twitter, thanks a lot. Um, I'm almost about to hit 80,000 followers on Twitter. So, again, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. And uh, last comment on the book, I'm going to be doing a video um, next week at the printing press. And we're going to see the book come off the presses and... Uh, I know you guys have been waiting a little bit for this, but it's going to be an amazing book. Um, and uh, look forward to starting work on the next one with, potentially, with Nick Sabo so, uh, on the history of money. So uh, I think you're going to enjoy the book. Uh, thanks for waiting. And again, thanks for following me. See ya.